Socha's on one side, Greaser's on the other. We may be enemies, but we've got a lot in common. Being afraid, for instance, we're afraid of them. They're afraid of us. And everyone's afraid of showing them. I guess most of all, we're afraid of what we don't know. Yeah, when it comes down to it, socials and greasers, we're a lot alike. Maybe that's the scariest part of all. that rat or you gonna let me have it? <laughs> Thank you. What's with the long face, man? Turner chewed me out, so my gang's not keeping pace with your crew. Shh, man, he reamed me out, too. My boy's already got three rules done. We got two on the way. You're kidding. No. Well, I just finished our second. That's me, babe. Twice the work, half the wages. Think it might have something to do with my suntan. <laughs> let me have some. Thank you. You know, see, this is something. Hey, you and me up here laughing, talking, ain't got no problem. My brother's sitting in that classroom on top of a powder keg. Give it time, Emmett. Things will settle down. Shh. Man, they started that bussin' thing a year ago up in Watsonville. They're still beating up colored kids in the bathroom up there. Maybe it'll be different around here. Yeah, and, and maybe we're gonna send a man to the moon, right? <laughs> never know, we might. Yeah, well, if we do, they won't be colored. <laughs> All right, boys, let's go back and bang some shingles. You hardly even swallow the food. Like I said, twice the work, half the bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, good girl, she's going to sing with me. Come on, fellas, let's go. Gotta hand it to you, pony boy. Got away with words. You don't think it was too corny? Nah. <laughs> Where do you read mine? <laughs> the way I go on about my brother? I'm gonna need galoshes to get through the mush. <laughs> Shoot. I thought the smell was coming from the cheese band. <laughs> Feeding time at the zoo. Wanna sit down? Plenty of room at my table. Uh, that's okay. I've got my own table. Oh, great. Then, uh, I'll eat at yours. Oh, well, just my luck. Only two seats left. Well, guess I'll see you in class, you know? Yeah, see ya. Hey, if it's not the guy that crossed the line, we'll live to tell about it. The guy's in my writing class. What's the big deal? Your little summon meeting raised quite a few eyebrows. Yeah, you mean Doyle Moffat and the Stormtroopers? Yeah, amongst others. Nice friends, Pony. And you can dance to the Supremes, but you can't mix with them. God, this is so stupid. I mean, Ben's a good guy. He's smart, he's funny. He's got plenty of guts. I know. And I think, um... Sarah Jane would agree with me. Those swaying hips, that beehive hairdo. Take your peanuts off my car. Just made for fingers and nest. Sweet, sweet pearl. I'm dreaming. 
This is a real McCoy. I'm in love with the capital L. Yeah, so is everybody else at Buck. Too bad you got about as much chance with that girl as I got winning the Indy 500. Why? Because she's an older woman, woman of the world? <laughs> no, because she don't know you exist. All right, a temporary situation I intend to rectify. Love has no boundaries, steve -O. Now, Buck, can I talk to you man to man? I don't see any man. Well, then woman to woman. Look, you need help. Not that bad. Now, how often do you get guys coming in here asking to be busboys, huh? Well, I'll answer that for you. Never, as in zero. Now, you want to know why? Because this job stinks. What makes you so hot to trot? Well, I like it here, the ambiance and everything. Plus, I come cheap. You like cheap. You'll do whatever you're told? No complaints, no hassles, no lip, no matter what the score is? No problem. You work for tips only, you work your butt off, and no fooling with your buddies. Whatever you say, you're the boss. And you take your orders from Pearl here. If she snaps her fingers, you jump. Can you handle that? Absolutely. I ran out of gas. All I want is a knee-high, okay? I want to know who he is. Get your hands off me. Sarah Jane, I asked you a question. And I already told you it's none of your business. You dropped me. No explanation, no warning, no nothing. No, I tried to tell you. You don't listen. Oh, yeah. And he does. Yeah, he does. He listens to me. Only not like you, Soda. Only concerned about yourself. He cares about me. How I feel. He cares about getting in your pants is all. You let him write, but you won't let me. You would think that, wouldn't you? Well, you're wrong, man. We got something better. You want better? OK, look, I'll change. OK, look. I'll even open the door for you. Who is he, Sarah Jane? You'll never change, no way. Get her, man. I need fish in the sea. Boone said he saw it. That's where the action is. Yeah, you think so? I know so. Look, we'll just fix up the Tempest. We'll go join the drag comp. Up there, they got dozens of chicks just waiting at the finish line to share the glory, okay? Hey, so to win or lose, we're gonna take home all the chicks. What do you say? Cook's flat. Here, all right? Somebody talking to me, Fred. I hear something, but I don't see anything. You look pretty familiar to me. Do I know you from somewhere? No. The girl I knew had taste. She's got taste. Good taste. Come on, man. Don't. Come on. I bet don't. This is just what he wants. What's the matter, man? Chicken? What? Some punk playing show and tell? Then please. We don't want trouble. Let's just leave. for the ginger ale. You all right, Sylvia? Give me the keys, man. The keys! Hey, I'm going with you if you're going away, no man. I'm gonna do this myself. my blue shirt. Darry, have you seen my shirt? Last I saw, it was on the sofa. Look, 
Listen, do you have plans Sunday night? I figured on having a couple of guys over. Hey, cool. Emmett St. Clair and his brother. Spades? You're gonna be spades into this house, Darry? Since when did you join the lynch mob? For information, Darry, this happens to be a white neighborhood, a greaser neighborhood. Shoot, it took us three years to get old man Parker to give us a nod. Old man Parker? Old man Parker beats his dog. Look, where's all this coming from? Let me tell you something, Darry. This is our turf. And if you can't hold your head high on your own turf, well, then you ain't got to spit. Look, man, I told you I didn't want any more trouble, all right? You didn't tell me. Sarah Jane did. But she's not here now, is she? No, she's not! Come on! It just calls you meeting Sarah Jane, doesn't it? She said you were better than me, man. I just wanted to see close up, is all. Shoot. I don't see much. I don't see much at all. <laughs> <laughs> Stay where you belong. Come on. Yeah. I want these glasses washed again, and I don't want to see a spot, not a single speck. Do you hear me, boy? No more specks. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. These ashtrays dumped and cleaned. That means everyone. Everyone on every table, every counter of every sink, of every toilet in this dump. You got that one? Your wish is my command. Okay. Then get your eyes out of my bra cup and your sorry tail in gear. Oh, and damn it, boy, whatever you do, watch out for the uh, uh, electrical cord. Don't worry, I got it. Well, the hospital say so. Not much that he's racked up pretty bad. You gonna live? I guess. Man, I should've stayed with him. For what? Get the rap you didn't do nothing? At least until the ambulance comes. And the cops come too? So do you gotta start thinking about your own self, your own hide, man. I mean, you were somewhere else tonight, okay? You were somewhere else, you get that? Since when you been hanging out with these madras, huh? Since I found we share a common interest. Saw him earlier at the movie theater. Yeah, I figured he had to drop her off sooner or later. Turned out to be sooner. Of course. <laughs> you would have done your job right there, Curtis. We wouldn't have had to scrape our knuckles so bad. I didn't ask for your help or yours. You're in it with us now, pal, whether you like it or not. You didn't see nothing. We didn't see nothing. In other words, dummy up. Listen, man, you don't have to tell someone nothing. And if I don't want to... <laughs> a white girl dumped you for a color. Come on, Curtis, when push comes to shove, who do you think the cops are going to believe? You going to finish this? Somebody jump you? Yeah, you could say that. Socious, huh? I need to ask you a favor, pony boy. 
Well, name it. If anyone asks, I was here all night. You and me, we were playing Jim Rummy, right? I hate Jim Rummy. We were playing Crazy Eights. Okay, will you do it? On one condition. But the other guy, that's worse than you. Trust me. He does. That's just like the fuzz show up a day late and a dollar short. What are they doing here? Auditing algebra? <laughs> Asking questions, getting nowhere fast, most likely. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. You didn't hear what happened? What happened? Ben got jumped in the park last night. Jumped? Yeah. You're kidding. A bunch of white guys did it, and they did a pretty good job, too. Any idea who? <laughs> yeah, take your pick. nails up there for an hour with those guys. Stone, you work for me, okay? You do what you're told. Look, they don't want me, I don't want them. Just do it! No lip! Henry, give me a hand. Get off your behind, John. I heard about Ben. How's he doing? He'll live. That's your man up there with my boys? I covered for it. I want you to fall behind. I don't need your charity. Hey, if Turner comes down hard on you, you can bet my ass will be grass soon enough. Look, man, don't patronize me. I've been out here working on my own since I was 16 years old. You Why are you jumping down my throat? I'm just trying to help. When Ben was 10 years old, the boy fell out of an oak tree, busted up his arm real bad, but he didn't cry. He refused. You understand? He decided right then and there that's how he was going to live his life. Unafraid. Now he's dating a white girl. I told him, I said, boy, you losing your mind. Are you crazy? You know what he did? He smiled at me. Then he asked me why. That boy was all I had. It's just like you and your brother's there. Talking like he's in the past. He's not. He'll recover. He'll walk. But inside, he ain't gonna never be the same again. He'll be looking over his shoulders for the rest of his life now. I'm gonna find out who did this. I'm gonna find him. Skulls. That's not gonna change. If it was your brother, what would you do? Well, what do we have here? Welcome to me. Anyone want some juice? What brings you around here, Sarah Jane? Looking for last licks? Just talking with Pony Boy. Oh, is that right? What might that be about? About Ben? Is that right, huh? Don't mind me. You guys talk. Oh, you like it. Just couldn't let it be, could you, Soda? Had to prove what a big, tough guy you are. Hiding there across the street, watching him kiss me goodnight must have boiled your blood. Hey, I'm trying to listen to some music here. Only you can do it yourself. Oh, you need six guys to back you up. Hey, what happened to your boyfriend wasn't my doing. Oh, you expect me to believe that? I really don't care what you believe. Fine. Maybe somebody else will. What does that mean? Sarah Jane, what does that mean? What'd you say to her, pony boy? Nothing. You sure about that? 
Yeah, she didn't need my help. It was all on your face. I didn't do it, Pony Boy. Hey, it's not me you gotta convince. What are you saying? I should go to the cops? Yeah, I'm not saying anything. You don't understand, man. They'll throw away the key. They'll lock me up and throw away the key. Offer something I didn't even do. Of course not. You were here playing gin rummy with me. All right, well, all the dirty words in the telephone numbers are off the stalls. I look stole all the bowls and I mopped the floor. Gray, what about the soap and towels? It's filled to the brim. Something else? Well, slow dance wouldn't hurt. And I do believe this is our song. Your mop's in my drink. Huh? Your mop. It's in my drink. That's Johnna Black. Two bucks a shot. And it's coming out of your pay, boy. Excuse me, boy, but you're on toilet paper. Your name's not boy. Your name's not boy. It's Oda. Look at two bit over there. Look at him. working like a dog. Look at him over there. Oh, oh, look at look at him down on his hands and knees looking like some kind of a what, Steve? Like a what? Hey, he's up, okay? It's cool. Yeah, just honky dory. What you gonna do? You gonna let this eat you alive or something? Look, he stole your girl. Stole, Steve? It's more like her choice. Well, whatever. Okay, it's Lenny and Doyle's thing. They're the ones that are going after the colors, not you. Look, everything's gonna be fine, okay? What's Pony Boy think? He thinks everything's fine, isn't he? Yeah, I guess. Let me have a draft. What's the matter? Huh? When black man walk into a bar, everybody's hair start turning. That it? It'll make you wonder, don't it? Maybe black folks ain't wanted around here. This bar is open to everybody, pal. Yeah. Just so long as you can make it to the bar. That it? You know, I can't figure it out. I don't know what's better. Having folks respect you, be scared of you. Some folks say they're one and the same. Yeah. Some say. You know what I say? I say you can't get no respect in this town. Unless you got some people scared of you. News got a way of traveling fast in this town, you understand? It don't matter how much you try to cover it up, there's always gonna be somebody who knows the truth. And I know the truth. That's all right. I can wait. There's a time and place for everything. Crazy soda. If you go to cops now, your mark allows you for life. Cover the post for me while I'm gone. Buck comes cover for me. That'll be 350, man. Look what happened, happened. Going down there and spilling your guts it ain't gonna change nothing. Okay? 
Lenny and Doyle, it's their responsibility. It's their... You didn't do anything, Soda. I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let you screw your life up. Well, then come down to the cops with me, Steve. Back me up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your hands are clean while I get them dirty. So you don't understand. You didn't do anything. But I wanted to, Steve. I wanted to. Manson, what the hell I tell you about those sneakers, man? I'm not going to pay for another tetanus shot. Emmett, the truth is, I didn't know my brother was involved. And why don't you try and bang a nail in one of them damn studs every now and then? Soda was there, but he didn't jump in. Next time I tell you, you find yourself a new job. You saw Soda's bruises. Ben laid him out cold. Did Ben tell you? He didn't, did he? Look, Curtis, why don't you just go back on your side, huh? You done stepped on the wrong side. Just like that, huh? Yesterday, we were in the same boat. Nailing rules, scraping pennies to look after our brothers. What are you going to get it through your head, man? You and me ain't in the same boat. I'm black, you're white. I get the dirty end of the stick, you get the clean. That's how it goes. But I got news for you, Curtis. I ain't going to take this no more. This time, I'm going to make it right. How? Oh, like went after my little brother? He went after mine. He said he didn't do it. And you believe that? If it was your brother, would you? Hey, man, you come after Soda, you got to go through me first. All right, bro. This is how it is. I'm not just some hired hand to be bossed around. You know, some piece of mud to scrape off your pumps. I'm a man. Needs and desires. Yes, my darling, these are for you. I know they're beautiful. Not half as beautiful as you are. Do it. <laughs> what you doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm buffing the moose. <laughs> Well, you can forget Bowlingle here, because uh, Pearl just called you. Yeah. She needs you to clean out the shed and mop the john and, oh, yeah, scour all those pots and pans in the kitchen. Hey, eat your flowers. That's so sweet, buddy. Are they for me? Oh, well, yeah. Eat them. Hallmark, huh? A friend's story. It's about... About a guy and his brother. How they stick together no matter what. Kind of like you and me, huh? No, it's about respect. Never got a chance to explain. Hey, there's nothing to explain. You wanted an alibi, you got one. I'm sorry, pony boy. I'm sorry for getting you involved. That doesn't change what you did. But don't worry, Soda. If the cops come, I won't sell you out. I you better believe you won't. The cops catch wind of this. We're gonna have social workers down our neck fast and you see foster home. You were here that night, you understand me? I already went. What? To the cops. Told them my name, told them my whole story, told them everything. Me, Lenny, and Doyle told them everything. Well, what'd they do? Cop acted like he didn't even hear me. I said, mister, I'm telling you the truth. He said, kid, when you greasers get jumped, you guys come down here crying? Why should we? They never do anything. That's just it. He agreed. They don't. Not for coloreds, not for greasers, not for anyone. Darry, you're right. I shouldn't have gone down there. Check it out, man. Go You don't want to be sitting here, pony boy. It's a free world. Think so? People who hang around me tend to get hurt. I risk it. But I won't. I thought we were friends. You got all the friends I need. I read your story. It's got a lot of heart. It's easy. I love my brother. Yeah? So do I. That's why I want you to call off Emmett. Hey, man, you know it wasn't Soda. 
Sarah Jane told Emmett, not me. Then tell him the truth. Tell him it was Doyle and Lenny, not my brother. Your brother. The same one who didn't lift a finger. The same one who couldn't stand Sarah Jane and me going out. I had a good thing with her, man. I could talk to her. I could really talk to her. But your brother has changed all of this. So it went to the cops today. Yeah, I know those cops. Talk to me for all the three minutes at the hospital, and I haven't heard from them since. No, man, you're not hearing me. My brother put his tail on the line. Once this gets rowdy, he's a walking target. That's a rough way to live. Trust me. I know. What's up, buddy? Should have seen action at the pumps today. Like we'll give him away free gas. You had a buck ask for me? Yeah, did he ask for you? Yeah, what did you say? I lied. What was I supposed to say? You down there snitching to the cops? Weren't you? So you don't do that, man. You don't go down to the cops. You don't tell them, doesn't matter why, doesn't matter who. You don't go to the cops. That's just the rules. Whose rules? You don't want me to sit here. I'll understand. Should I go? Then dump me. Sorry to hear that. He said, what's the point? We're only going to get hurt, like I'm not already. I don't know. Maybe he's just scared. <laughs> We're just trying to protect you. See those girls there? been staring at me since I walked in, like I'm some piece of trash. Don't let him stare. You got more guts than all of them put together. <laughs> since when are you so understanding? Sometimes I listen. Well, sort of, Pop, what have we here? Beat it. Ooh. I just don't, I don't believe it. He still isn't grateful. And here we got him back with his chick. I said beat it. Then again, who would want her, considering where she's been? You need a hand soda? No, I think I got things covered. Oh, yeah. He's a tough one, that boy. So tough, he even squealed to the cops. That's right, soda pop. Word gets around fast. If I were you, snitch, I'd watch my back. And sooner or later, we'll be there. Thanks. Come on, you guys. <laughs> That's 
Joseph, boy. That is the last straw. I've had it up to here with you. What? Oh, you've had enough. Well, I got something to tell you, you whip-cracking general. I'm through taking your guff, licking your boots. No, I'm not your slave, and I'm not anybody's slave. Am I coming in loud and clear? Girl, I quit. The romance is over. I never knew he was so sensitive. Use your ways of water in the daisy, so. Thought we weren't talking. Well, not, I just need you to help me soup up my car. Oh, yeah. You gonna help me? Didn't watch you miss the uh, Boone City Drag Race? Not a chance, <laughs> buddy. Heard you had some visitors last night. Yeah, left me some artwork, too. Gonna have to get used to these midnight calls if you keep sticking your neck out, you know that. Seems I recall you stuck your neck out for me last night. That's because you're one of us. God's got no one to draw the line, you know? Man's got to live with himself, too. Stone, a coffee breaks ten minutes, not twenty. I haven't finished my cinnamon twist. And you haven't finished shingling that dormer either. It ain't gone anywhere. Look, I'm not gonna ask you again. Hey, I haven't seen your other friend jump in the gun. My other friend doesn't work for me. You want me to spell it out? You know, Curtis, you got a mouth on you. But then again, so does your brother. Stone, are you gonna do it or not? It's causing you a lot of grief, ain't he? I should fire his butt. Well, come on. You do that, you know what's gonna happen. First thing's gonna happen is you're gonna fall behind. You fall behind in this business, you lose money. Then you lose money out of a job. Best to just get used to it. It's just a tip of the iceberg there, that's all. Uh, there. Ben, tell me what soda did. I took a lot of debts, man. Yeah. Yeah, it comes with a price. I swear, if anything happens to my brother, I'll... What are you gonna do, man? You gonna go for an eye for an eye, like I did? Oh, yeah, when would you cool off? I didn't say I did cool off. In fact, I'm still a little hot. But what's it gonna get me? Huh? A stretch in jail? Then what's gonna happen to Ben? No. <laughs> I think the best thing for you and me to do is just keep a good leash on our little brothers. Know where they are, know what they're doing. Tell you right now, I'm not gonna run from anything. Don't have to. All you gotta do is just keep looking over your shoulder. If I were you, I would be careful. I hear there's a nasty flu going around. <laughs> well, what do you know? A matching set. All right, here's the plan. Stick together until this thing blows up and when we're not, we each know where the other one is. Even when I go to the bathroom? Soda, you're working on late shift, right? You're coming home afterwards? Well, actually, I was planning on heading down the war ass for the bullfights. Real cute, man. You're the last one that should be joking around here. <sighs> Sorry. Me too. Okay. After work, you stay put. 
Phony, you have tribe practice till what, nine? Yeah. As soon as it's over, you come to the diner. I'll pick you up, then we'll get sorted. But wait, you're selling shingles to Mr. Houston. That could take forever. And you stay there forever. Like I said, we stick together. Glass, please. No ice. <laughs> Thanks. Think she's mad at me? Two hours worth of water? She's crazy about you. <laughs> Darian his shingles. I knew he'd be all night. Soda's working late, huh? Yeah. I gotta admit, I never thought he'd go to the cops. People change. Just doesn't come easy, I guess. Have you spoken with Ben? A little. It's kind of hard these days. Yeah, tell me about it. You mention me? No, of course not. Why would he? It's just a matter of time, Sarah Jane. Sure. Morning, boy. There you are. I've been looking all over the place for you, man. Hey, man, sit down. Take a lot off your feet. There's no time to look. I was just at the bowling alley. It's all over the place. What's all over the place? Doyle and Lenny are going to jump soda tonight. Give me some change. For what? Just give me some change for the phone! Surprise, surprise, surprise. I told you we were going to be paying you a little visit. Now, can we talk about this here now, boys? Hey, he's a funny guy. Isn't he a funny guy? You took all the talking you're going to do, snitch. You lost your compass. Now we're going to show you the way home. I lost mine, too. You care to show me my way? Why are you at it? Show us all. Come on. What's the matter? You don't like these odds? Let's go, boys. Let's rock and roll. That's okay. We got all the time in the world. And we'll be waiting. Let's go. How'd you know, man? Sarah Jane called. You gotta thank her sometime. Guess that means we're still rivals, huh? Yes. It's okay, Darry. They back down. Figured it was the least we could do. I mean, us in the same boat now. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Thanks. Funny the things you have in common with strangers. Just takes getting to know them, I guess. Trouble is, in this town, it's not easy. But then, nothing worthwhile ever is.